All right. Ready? Ready. Okay. Hi, I'm Hillary, and I did my presentation over music and music therapy. Um, Claire Getty wrote an article for the Nordic Journal of Music Therapy where she quoted the American Music Therapy Association of 2010 as defining music therapy as the clinical and evidence-based use of music interventions to accomplish individual goals within therapeutic relationships. A um, couple other definitions. Um, audio analgesia, I'm not sure if that's how Analgesia. It's. Analgesia, yes. Is the use of sound or music to reduce pain in analexic, the use of sound or music to reduce anxiety. Um, music has been shown to help with medical procedures such as chemotherapy, depression, um, anxiety, and it um, helps to reduce elevated biorhythms such as heart rate and breathing as well. Um, she found that starting music before a procedure can help uh, reduce anxiety in the patient when it's played in the waiting room or in the examination room as well. Um, even found that some nurses have started carrying like MP3 players and iPods for their patients to listen to to reduce stress. Um, she quoted Walworth as saying, music has the ability to impact attention. When music is used as a distraction, <coughs> the therapist helps patients redirect their attention away from a stressful medical procedure or stimuli toward a non-threatening music stimuli. The patient is less apt to experience a stress response during the medical procedure. Um, they've had a lot of experiments and exercises that have shown that it also helps um, young people, especially with autism or any kind of autistic disorder, um, anything with emotional or behavioral, behavioral difficulties, um, usually between the ages of 18 and 16, to help, and it goes back to helping reduce the stress that they feel or the anxiety that they feel to help have a calming effect. Um, this is also shown in chemotherapy patients. Um, it was shown that it really reduces the stress they feel that their body is put under due to the chemotherapy, and therefore they have less nausea and vomiting as a side effect of their chemotherapy. Plus, this is a very cost-efficient um, way to deal with the side effects of chemotherapy. Um, it's also shown, uh, been used as relaxation technique in insomniac patients. Um, usually it's a slow, low volume, stable rhythm needed, um, and it helps muscle relaxation. That way you can, um, helps people doze off and sleep better. Um, a lot of patients were given song choices from different genres as long as they met the criteria of slow, low volume, stable rhythms. That way, people would want to listen to them before they go to bed and not feel like they had to. It's also shown that uh, there was a study done of 236 pregnant women that went to music therapy for two weeks during their pregnancy. And this showed to help with the stress on their bodies as well as depression they might feel during their pregnancy. And this is shown to be cost effective as well, especially because it affects the baby and the baby's well-being. And then there was also another study done on music therapy in Canadian young adults at a Canadian university between the ages of 17 and 21 years old. Uh, 379 undergrads volunteered for this. Um, and it showed that music helped with motivation, especially when they listen to it for their own reasons, personal reasons. It increased their happiness level and also showed that they wanted to get involved in music more and 
It showed that music can be one of the most pleasurable, motivating, and satisfying artistic activities that young adults and adolescents can um, participate in. In April 12, on April 12, 2013, in Boston, a science and music symposium was held at the Berkeley Performance Center. And this was a gathering of doctors, scientists, and musicians to um, see the effects of merging science and music for the improvement of health and well-being among people. Uh, one of the doctors was Conchetta Tomino, and she said she was a neurological doctor um, helping Alzheimer's patients, and she noticed that uh, music can treat memory, attention, and sensory systems in the brain, and that familiar music can activate the medical prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that lasts the longest in Alzheimer's patients, so they're more likely to remember lyrics and music later on in their disease because it activates this part of the brain. And she has used music therapy in a lot of her patients and it also helps reduce the stress they feel of having Alzheimer's. Um, Dr. Andrea Patel, he used the absorption of music scale by Sandstorm and Russo. It measures the ability and willingness of people to let music elicit strong emotional responses and experiences. And he said that this could be a good predictor if you have a patient, how well a patient will do on music therapy. Um, and then I have a little exercise for you guys to do. The very last page of the handout I gave you has two boxes. And the top one is for song one, the bottom one is for song two. And I'm gonna play just a little bit of two different songs for you. And if you would, just write down a few words or emotions you feel as you listen to them. And I picked two kind of on the very broad ends of the scale of my iPod for y'all to listen to. So we'll go ahead and play those. Okay. 
Alrighty, and now for song two. Crank it up. Especially when you are trying to relax. <laughs> and of course, there's everything in between. I'm sure I have most of that on there too. <laughs> so, but any questions or anything? Yep. What's your, do you have a personal interest in music therapy though, besides just. I didn't <clears throat> until we read about it in our book. And then I thought it was fascinating how it can help, especially in like cancer patients and. Mm -hmm. A therapy setting, and so I've gotten a, more interested in it as I've went along, especially with all the articles I found because there was a bunch of them and how it's helping people. We use it in uh, experiential therapy all the time for mental health and stuff. It's lots of different uses of it. Yeah. All right. Anything else? <laughs> 